PET-C is a capability looking to deliver warfighting training to the Royal Navy on board their ships within their own ops room, irrespective of where the ships place geographically in the world. It will allow ships to participate in a training scenario together, using synthetic training to be representative of the real world operational environment. The real benefit of PET-C to the carrier strike group is the ability to integrate disaggregated and dislocated units, for instance, base ported in Plymouth, vice base ported in Portsmouth, to be able to allow them to conduct training and integrate with the carrier strike group effectively. PET-C will add value to training for FOST uh, in that we no longer need to rely purely on doing live training inside the South Coast exercise areas uh, outside of Plymouth. We can use this as an opportunity to take ships to a synthetic environment, uh, possibly based on where they would then deploy to. We will allow them to then go up against realistic threats uh, and realistic environments uh, that they may face while they're deploying. And it also allows us to then add fidelity to the type of training delivery that we give at FOST. Working with Kinetic BE Systems and uh, Inspire has, has been a really collaborative approach. The companies really know exactly what we're trying to get after and I think we have a shared sense of endeavour as to what the future looks like in virtual warfighting training. Port Sound Technology Park have been beneficial in the development of the PET-C capability. The combat system equipment up there has helped us to de-risk through integration proving the capabilities that are available in, in PET-C to then move forward to ship fitting on Queen Elizabeth, Diamond, and also HMS Kent. PET-C brings together best and complementary capabilities from across Kinetic, Inspire and BA systems. The, the communications engineering integration expertise within Kinetic, the deep training expertise from within Inspire, and the combat management engineering and integration experience from BA systems. So I think what PETC has provided is a, is a sort of baseline of war fighting activity in, in, in the sort of virtual space. What we're looking for is to include more assets in future. For example, if we could work with other simulated uh, facilities such as an F-35 aircraft simulator and plug and play those existing capabilities into PETC, it would be a, a real game changer in the ability to create a warfighting capability for a carrier strike group.